Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for July 12th to the 18th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always uh, check out your other signs if you feel you need to. So your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Alright, well let's see. Virgo, what do you need to know this week? What is happening? Virgo, we have hostilities. Bottom of the deck, we have door to value. Hmm. I almost feel like there's, this is either you struggling to see your value, your worth, or this is like, um, um, not getting what you deserve or not getting the respect in a situation. Virgo. Let's see. I kind of feel like this is like a struggle. Yeah, Five of Swords again. So that's because the Five of Swords for me is this hostilities card in this deck. So there's definitely some sort of discrepancy or like um, you don't feel like you're being valued in a situation is kind of what I'm getting. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Yeah. We have the Justice card. Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, we have the Star, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Um, something unexpected here. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I kind of feel like there's change happening here. I kind of feel like you're initiating the change. I feel like you're stepping into something new. Uh, some of you, I want to say this has to do with your work. Stepping into something new. Um, it's like the Six of Pentacles is like, I'm almost, what I'm getting in my head is like um, getting paid what you're worth. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of you like know you deserve more. And I feel like it could definitely be coming in and I feel like it comes in because you're, you're starting something new, Ace of Cups. There, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Your money is definitely going to be Im improving, increasing. I feel like, again, your value is increasing. You're starting to see your worth. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. There could be an argument with someone here this week. Or there has been an argument. Maybe it's something in the workplace not getting along with someone. Like somebody not seeing your value. I feel like this Queen of Wands is you guys. And I feel like, I mean, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands could both be you. It's like not putting up with any shit knowing what you deserve. And I feel like that's causing hostilities somehow because it's like somebody's not valuing you. And so there's like turmoil in that sense. Um, with the Justice, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, this is like knowing what you deserve. Again, it's like self-love, looking after yourself, Queen of Pentacles, Justice. It's like, you know, balancing out the scale. Some of you, this is like finding what you're looking for, or finding someone or something that does value you, sees your value. Um, so I feel like there's a new opportunity. Some of you, it's like a new contract, could be new love. Like if you're in a situation where you don't feel valued, this could even be your own mental space of like you maybe not valuing yourself and now stepping into that, right? It's like you're realizing your worth. You've done a lot of work on yourself, Queen of Pentacles, you've really nurtured yourself. The one that we're missing is the Queen of Cups, which we do have cup energy here, but it's almost like you're not emotionally, you're, you're not allowing your emotions to like get the best of you because I'm really seeing this Queen of Cups, or sorry, the Queen of Swords emptying out her cup. It's like you're just in like boss mode is kind of what I feel. It's like getting shit done. And not really in this space of like, oh, well, this person hurt my feelings. Like, you're not in that. You're in this very, like, direct, like, this is what I want. This is what I deserve. And if you don't like that, then I'm going to leave and I'm going to go somewhere else. And I feel like that could be your relationships, but also it could be your career. Uh, we have the Star, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords in the near future here. So I kind of see you guys, like, getting something that you deserve. Ten of Pentacles, the Star... And I feel like it's needing to let go of this Ten of Swords. So some of you maybe could still be carrying it. We're going to clarify. But I feel like you're going to be getting what it is that you want. Again, abundance, commitment, something long term. I feel like this Ace of Cups, like 
is going to lead to this somehow. So some of you, this could be a relationship. Others of you, this could be an opportunity in work that you really like. It brings a lot of happiness and joy, but it can also bring a lot of stability. Um, but with this Ten of Swords, it's either you're letting this go or you're still maybe holding on to this like a little bit. So let's see. Clarify this Five of Swords here in the recent past for Virgo. What's this Five of Swords in the recent past for Virgo? We have the death card. Yeah, somebody didn't like, somebody doesn't really like the change or the transformation. Maybe this is like you already moved on from this situation and you started something new and somebody maybe didn't like that and you were like, too bad, so sad. I'm moving on. Because I kind of see you doing like what's best for you and I see it working in your in your benefit. I just feel like you this change this it was unexpected maybe this person wasn't expecting you to leave or move on here um what's this queen of swords here so we have the chariot the star and the magician yeah you took matters into your own hands to move towards a new direction ace of pentacles i feel like you followed your gut chariot the star and the magician it's like you took the power back in this situation, you took control back in this situation to go towards what it is that you're searching for, the star, right? The star is already in this spread. So it's like you're manifesting this opportunity for yourself by moving forward and not letting someone hold you back or a situation hold you back. What is, uh, what's this Ace of Cups here in the current energy for, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you had options, Virgo. Can I get more on this Ace of Cups? The Knight of Pentacles. You're looking for the right thing. The practical thing, right? Because again, you want to enjoy it, but again, you want it to lead to this Ten of Pentacles, right? So I feel like you're you're looking for something that's going to be enjoying, that you're... <laughs> that's like, uh, enjoyable <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But you're also looking for something that's going to like be able to be nurtured and grow and um, be something that can last. You're looking to restore kind of like justice in this situation here. We have the um, Eight of Swords clarifying the justice card. Can I get uh, one more here for justice? Some of you may be trying to figure out if this is the right opportunity for this. The Sun, the Five of Swords again, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you don't care. Six of Swords, Five of Cups. Like you're, I mean, some of you are maybe in your head about moving forward, but I honestly see you like, especially Five of Swords, Six of Swords, like you guys are moving on from something that just was not just, something that was not bringing you happiness. And that's what you're like, no matter what, I need to move towards this. You could be in your head about it or if you're just thinking a lot about this. Um, some of you maybe have air in your chart. But it's like you're fighting for what it is that you want, fighting for what it is that you feel you deserve. Um, and again, with the Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, like there definitely could have been an argument. Somebody lost in this situation. Somebody lost out. And I don't really necessarily feel like it's you. But again, like somebody, whoever lost out didn't see your value. What's the star here for in the near future for Virgo? What's the star here for? We have the Page of Swords in reverse. I get one more here for the star. And the King of Wands. Yeah, like you're you're not just watching, you're taking action. I think that's why this is coming in is because you're actually taking action. Some of you, if this is a person of like relationship, you do have a match here. I feel like somebody actually comes forward or you meet this person or something. It's like, there's no spying. It's like, there's, I feel like this person is actually like communicating with you. It's this 10 of pentacles here. And if this isn't like a person, if this is just like you leaving like a work situation, I see this as like you not just saying it, you actually doing it like going towards what it is that you want, taking the action to achieve what it is that you're, you're hoping for or searching for. Um, clarify this Ten of Pentacles here for Virgo, please. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, like I said, the Ace of Cups is going to lead to this Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. It's coming in. If it hasn't already come in, this opportunity for you, this Ace of Cups, it's coming. 
this an, it's a new beginning in something and some of you it's like a new beginning in love can i get one more for this ten of pentacles two of wands yeah for so for some of you it's like it's on its way you've manifested it for sure but it's on its way what's this ten of swords here nine of swords and the ten of pentacles again so some of you need to just kind of like don't get in your head about this um i feel like if you have a fear that something's not going to work out i feel like your mental space is actually going to get a lot better especially with the nine and the ten of swords like that stuff is gonna you have to kind of let that go maybe once you receive this ten of pentacles or once you see like the writing that is on the wall there's like a future that you're looking at like you're you're looking at this ace of cups and you're like okay i want this to grow into this ten of pentacles like you're waiting for this to grow so some of you the opportunities here but it's not like at the space that is yet the ten of pentacles you know um and I feel like you're kind of stressed or worried that maybe it won't work out or you may not reach this Ten of Pentacles, you know, like you are kind of worried about the progress is what I want to say. Maybe you have fears again of like, again, whether is it going to work out or is it going to fail? You know, it's like back and forth a little bit. I feel like there's a need for you to kind of just like take take time out if you feel like you're getting too like ramped up about things like four swords can be meditation it's like taking time to rest um clear the mind right um can i get one more here for this ten of swords yeah king of swords you're gonna get the clarity that you're that you're needing and again you're gonna see that something can actually lead to the ten of pentacles and if you're waiting for the communication or the path to open up i, I feel like it is it's going to um, so there's no need to really like stress or worry. I don't think about this if that's where you're at in the near future here. So your advice, we have the high priestess. What more advice does the Virgos need this week? What does Virgo need to know this week for advice spirit? Two of Pentacles. And the moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands. Interesting. We have page of wands, page of wands. There definitely could be a message of love coming in. I feel like it's coming in. You're, not, you're single. They're single. Nine of pe pentacles here. So definitely could be a message. I feel like your advice here with the high priestess, the two of pentacles, and the moon, like trust yourself. Trust yourself to make a decision. Listen to your intuition, especially with the moon and the high priestess. Uh, we are in cancer season, so it's like also to like allowing yourself to feel your emotions. Don't just like suppress them. Um, because I feel like with the two of pentacles, obviously being Virgo, like there's an element of you guys wanting stability, looking at the details. How am I going to analyze and get this like to work? Right. But it's like, allow your emotions to maybe play a part in this. Don't just look at it from a practical analytical standpoint, go with the flow a little bit, especially with the ace of cups, like allow things to manifest or unfold naturally and allow yourself to follow your intuition. Cause I feel like it's guiding you in the right direction. And it'll help balance out your decision making. Like it'll help make you feel more stable if you can embrace your emotions and your intuition. Um, and look at what you're afraid of. Like don't be afraid to um, look at your fears because I feel like looking at your fears is going to allow you to make a better decision moving forward. You're gonna know what your weaknesses are or what's could maybe what could maybe hold you back. Because I feel like there's a lot of potential here with the high priestess. You just have to allow yourself to go there. So this could be in love. This could also be in like career, but this is like you're coming from a situation where you weren't valued and there's something new coming in for you. Yeah, the sun, victory, recognition with the world here, but you're maybe not sure of like how to move forward or there's a lack of clarity, but you're coming from a space where somebody didn't value you and you're moving into a space where things are going to start to to work out. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully that is helpful for you guys. If not, you can check out your other signs, but I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.